guys welcome to my channel I am so excited to do today's video today I am debuting the NARS 16 hour wear radiant longwear foundation so excited I also did a review on the morphe palette love this palette you guys today's makeup look was created with this foundation and that makeup palette so if you want to see how I got this makeup look keep watching Okay, so as you can see behind me, I have new products from Sephora that I'm really excited to talk about and get some first impressions. So first, I have been really wanting to try the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I had to go to Sephora and get one. I am in the shade Medium 1. And let me tell you, NARS has a lot of funny names for this new foundation I found. So I'm in the shade Punjab. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You guys, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh. And as I was there, I also decided that I really wanted to make sure that the primer that I use with this foundation is going to work. So I just went ahead and got the NARS Pour and Shine Control Primer. I really wanted to make sure that when I did this review, everything was going to have the right primer and formula to work together to make it work. So I was out shopping with my mom, and so we also stopped by Ulta, and we were walking by, and we found the cutest eyeshadow palette. So it's the new Morphe 35V Stunning Vibes Artistry Palette. So it just comes in a really nice, sleek packaging. You guys, I haven't even opened it yet. I only saw the tester one in the store, and that had me sold. Here it is. It is so pretty, you guys. The pigmentation on this is unbelievable. So pretty. So this is the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today. So I'm still going to be going in with the same setting spray that I use. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay B6, the Vitamin Infused Complexion Priming Spray. I found that this priming spray really works for my skin since I'm so oily, so I usually stick to the setting spray. I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't have my nails anymore. It makes me so sad. I started the nursing program, so I, I can't have any acrylics, no nail polish, not even clear nail polish, so it'll be weird getting used to. I'm going to go in with the NARS Pour and Shine Primer. I don't know how much to use just because this is my first time using this primer. So I'm just going to go in with this much. It's kind of a dime size amount. And I'm just going to rub that in. It smells really good. Time for the foundation. I am so excited. So I'm going to shake it. And something I do love about this bottle is it's a pump. I live for pump bottles. I, I feel like it's just so much easier to use. Now for this look, I am going to be using a beauty sponge. Um, usually I use brushes for my foundation lately since I've used the Fenty Beauty, but just because after seeing reviews on this foundation, people have found that beauty blenders work better. So I am just going to be spraying my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray all over my sponge. Okay, I used about like one and a half pump. So I'm just going to start applying it. Now the lady at Sephora matched it with my neck, which I love because I want my face to match my neck. I don't want my face to be whiter, even though it is, than my body. Okay, you guys, I am loving how this is going on. I've been breaking out on my forehead and kind of like right here. And it is covering it up on the first go around. I haven't used a beauty blender in so long. <laughs> Feels different. Now I can still kind of see the redness from the acne, but I mean, 
I feel like any foundation is going to be like that. So... Usually I don't cover it again just because I know I'm going to be going back in with my bronzer. So I know it's going to be covered anyway. So I'm not too worried. But like, oh my gosh, you guys, this honestly reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me that I love. And you guys have seen that makeup tutorial and it honestly does make my skin look so natural. And that's how this looks, so... I might be switching to NARS foundation, guys, instead of my Fenty. So I'm just going to go back in with the same amount of pumps on this side of my face. Oh, I'm just loving this. Like, I hope you guys can see how well this is blending into my skin. I'm just going to do a very tiny squirt over my chin and my upper lip. I'm really hoping that I usually get really bad separation on my nose and I haven't had that happen with my Fenty Beauty yet and so I'm just really hoping that this foundation holds up throughout the day. I will say, I think I might like this foundation even more if I found a brush that I like with it. And I know there's a bunch of foundation brushes, but I just gotta take the time to go get one. I've been really wanting to get the Farah Rose Gold Brush Collection. And right now I could get it for like 42 bucks, where the retail price is like 60 Just because I have a discount code. So... I might be getting new brushes, guys. I will say it's definitely buildable coverage. I feel like I want more right here. But since I'm going to be going back in with my concealer, I'm not going to put more foundation on. Just because since I am oily, I don't want to overdo it with the product. So I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard. I'm just going to buff it out. Okay, I feel like I am living for this combination, you guys. This creamy concealer is blending in so nice with this foundation. And it blended in nice with the Fenty Beauty, but it's just different formulas that weren't meant to work together. And when you can find a combination that's just so good and meant to be together, like, you can't go back. I mean, let's be real. Because this is work, this looks so nice. And I cannot wait to set it to see what it looks like. So to set my face, I'm going in with the Derba Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. To blend that out, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics brush. It is the number 227.
so far I totally recommend this foundation Okay guys, I'm just going to continue on and do my normal routine. So I'm just going in with the Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze. The contour, I'm doing the IT Cosmetics brush. And it's the contour brush, doesn't have a number. So to blend out my neck, I'm going in with a cosmetics brush, number 307. So for my blush, I am going in with the Sephora brush 91, the NARS shade Luster for my blush. And just blend it. And I almost forgot, I need to contour my nose. I'm just going in with the same bronzer. Mm. Well. I'm going to brush off the excess. Okay, if this ever happens, if you ever actually do way too much product, just wipe off the excess off your brush and work it in. It will buff out, I promise. Okay. For highlighter, I'm going in with the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralizer Skin Finish. Going on with the Cupid's Bow. Tip of your nose and then right down the bridge. And I like to put it on my collarbone if I'm wearing more of a low, low neck shirt. Okay, so face is done. So far I'm really liking it. I feel like it looks natural. So that's a good thing. Okay, guys, I'm going to do my eyebrows. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So I just brush up my lashes. Okay guys, I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I just bring my brows up. I'm 
I'm going in with a Go Nude. Oh, I wish, okay, one thing. I do wish that was a mirror, but you know. Can't have it all. And I'm just going all over my lid. Since I'm wearing this pink sweater today, I'm going to do more pink tones. Go in with the risque. And I'm just going to lightly do a smoky eye with it. So I'm going on the outside and slowly bringing it in. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I think I am going to go in with the color in the zone. And just do it right on my lid. Slowly bring it up into my crease. So it's kind of like the ombre effect. But I want more of the pigment concentrated on my lid. And I can slowly just make sure it's all blended. Aim on the other eye. I'm going to use that same shade in the zone and lightly put it under my lid and honestly you guys you barely have to tap your brush into your eyeshadow because honestly that's how pigmented this is which is so nice like Think of how long this palette will last me. Okay. I'm going to do some glitter. I'm going in with just an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that came with a palette of mine. It's a super nice flat, dense brush. I think I'll go in with three little words. I'm just lightly patting that on. And I'm just going on my inner lid. And kind of bringing it out to the middle. So pretty. I'm just going in with the shade Knockout. I'm just putting it in my inner corner of my eye. So, quickly curl them lashes. I'm going in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So I'm not able to do a, like a total review and come back 16 hours later and show you this foundation on me. But in my next video, I am totally going to talk about this foundation. And I guess you'll find out if I'm going to use it in the next video. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Chapstick. Oh. Okay guys, so for my lips today, I'm going to be using the NUC I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss. I'm in the shade Fortune Cookie. I love this nude lip. I'm 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. if you like this makeup review and all the products I use and the final makeup look make sure to give it a thumbs up comment below and subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos hope you guys have a great rest of your day mm -hmm.